Hey there, creepy peeps, and welcome to another Tuesday video. <laughs> Today, as it is uh, the first week in February, or the first full week in February, um, we have to do a recap of January. So let's jump into this. Um, movies. Uh, so I had quite a few rewatches. <laughs> First one, Scream, because it's my favorite, because, you know, whatever. I'm also attempting to do a year-long letterbox challenge. It's actually made by one of my patrons and member of this community, Azul. Um, so I'll link the challenge um, on his letterbox page in the description. I know it's February, but you can still, it's like, it's one movie a week, so you guys can catch up really quick. I have to say I have failed so far after watching the first one, just because January is so busy and this month is actually gonna be really busy too. But don't worry, I'm gonna get back on track. Don't you guys, don't don't fret, don't fret. I really wanna do this challenge, so. <laughs> um, but Scream was the first one I watched for that challenge and I just wanted to start off the year with a favorite, so you know. I also rewatched What We Do in the Shadows just because I felt like rewatching it. Like, I love the movie so, so much. FX is coming out with a show adaptation of it in March. I don't know the exact date yet, but I'm damn excited for that show. And of course, I rewatched Unfriended, which was for Does This Offend You? And um, I don't hate this movie. Every time I've rewatched it, I've given it like a higher and higher score. Like, I. I don't know, I really like, I've grown to love this movie. I know not a lot of people like this movie, but. And then I watched Urban Legend. That was with my patrons for our monthly movie night, which is a perk of being a patron of mine. Yeah, hint, hint. I love that movie also, and we had a super fun time watching it. And The Birds, of course, which I made a review for. Um, I love that movie. I just really had a craving to watch that movie, and not many people like request or suggest exhumed movie reviews so I kind of get to fill <laughs> the exhumed movie reviews myself and I just really had a desire to watch the birds so <laughs> and then kind of weird one again just had a desire to watch this movie crazy stupid love and that just goes to show too like I think I've mentioned this a few times I don't really venture outside the horror genre much but when I do I watch old favorites as opposed to like new romantic comedies or new whatever action movies I'll watch <laughs> old favorites and this was one that you know I just felt like rewatching. So favorite ones that I watched this month obviously outside of my rewatches um, were Satan Slaves which was an Indonesian horror movie that I watched really really good um, like I said way into the Indo horror right now I guess and let's scare Jessica to death that's just I guess kind of an unpopular opinion normally when I have an unpopular opinion it's me hating something that everybody else loves but at least based on <laughs> some of the reviews I've seen not a lot of people like this movie which is weird I really liked it and then of course we have to talk about least favorites um, Apostle which definitely is an unpopular opinion I know a lot of people like that movie <laughs> I just wasn't feeling it um, Friend Request which was the other film I watched for does this offend you for January and not a fan not because it offended me, just because it was bad. And then Bird Box. Um, I finally, I know I'm the last person on planet Earth to watch Bird Box, um, but I wanted to read the book first, which I'll talk about in a second here. I wanted to read the book first. So I read the book and then I saw the Netflix movie, which I'm really glad I read the book first. I'm just gonna say that. And then quickly for TV, the only thing I really watched that was new this month was the Ted Bundy tapes, of course. Everybody's been watching that. And like everybody, I saw the trailer for the Zac Efron movie, which I didn't write down the name of in my notes and I'm not gonna attempt to remember it because it's a long ass, not great title, I gotta say. I hated the trailer for it. Although I did also hear that the trailer is not reflective of the movie, like from, you know, like little like one line reviews from people that have seen the movie already. They said that the trailer does not accurately reflect the movie, which is a relief because the trailer sucks. The trailer <laughs> makes it look like some sort of like action comedy romantic thing, which <sighs> I get some people, I get some people saying like, well, you know, he was really charismatic and people didn't think that he actually murdered people. So I get that. But I felt like the trailer was playing up, was playing that up way too much and there wasn't enough of the fact that he murdered 30 plus people. All right, so in terms of books, um, <laughs> this will be uh, tomorrow's video, but I did read and finish uh, Intensity by Dean Koontz. This was the very first book of 2019 for my creepy book club. All right, so in terms of books, 
Um, <laughs> this will be uh, tomorrow's video, but I did read and finish uh, Intensity by Dean Koontz. This was the very first book of 2019 for my creepy book clubs. So if any of you guys want to make it a resolution to read more this year, um, I do have a creepy book club and we have already decided our first six books for the year. So January through June. Um, so you can find that on my blog or on the book club page on Goodreads, both of which I'll link in the description. Maybe if you don't have the time to read anything this month, you can see what March's book is and get a head start or something. So there will be a review of this tomorrow so you can hear my full thoughts on it. Um, and if you follow me on Goodreads, you already kind of know what I rated it, but you know. <laughs> and then, like I said, I did read Bird Box in January. Um, <laughs> I really wanted to read it before the movie and it's not that long of a, a book. It's only like 250 pages, so it was a really fast read. Um, and just like actually reading it, it reads very fast as well, like the, the writing and stuff. So you like, if you were interested at all in reading it, you will get through it very quickly. Um, and it's definitely a page turner for sure. Um, I think I'm gonna make a full on video of this, of me comparing it to the movie because I have some thoughts. <laughs> but if you also read the book and saw the movie, I wanna know what you think about it in the comments, please. <laughs> All right, and then in terms of streaming, obviously like everybody else on planet Earth, I watched Shane Dawson's new conspiracy theory video and I'm very excited for the one coming out tomorrow. Well, as I'm filming this, it comes out tomorrow part two. <laughs> and then the only other thing I really streamed this month or this past month for whatever reason, I can't really explain this, wired autocomplete interviews. <laughs> it's just like every time you watch one, another one is suggested and it's like two actors that I really like. So I watched that one and then it goes on and on and on. And I don't know why I did that this month, but that's what I did. So the first one I have saved here was on my, um, was it top 10? or I don't know if it was top 10, um, it was just favorite vampire movies video. And this comment is from King7, which if I remember correctly, Dylan is your name? I try and remember, but he wrote, this channel covers just about everything. Happy New Year. Um, and I just, I know everyone's probably just like, really, that's one of your favorite comments of the month? But it's just nice. Like I like hearing stuff like that because I try and do a couple of different things you know, apart from movie reviews. Not that movie reviews are bad, but everyone does movie reviews, so I try and mix it up a little bit, so. Next one is from a horror community regular. Um, everybody knows Zachary at this point, I feel like. Opinions video? Unpopular opinions or my Friday the 13th ranking? I can't remember right now. Try to remember, unpopular opinions, that's which one it was. <laughs> Anyways, he writes, why are you always trying to start shit? <laughs> This is a great comment, thank you. <laughs> I don't know, I'm an instigator, I guess. Then uh, next one I have is one of my favorites. It's from my, this one is definitely from my Friday the 13th ranking and it's from CJ, who is an author, uh, a horror author, and also um, just like a super nice member of this community. Writes, Jason X is your number one. I can see the heads of Lee McCoy, Cody Leach, and others in the horror community explode. LOL, so funny. <laughs> I know. Lindsay, AKA Mother Mayhem, already gave me crap for Jason X being my number one pick, but whatever. <laughs> I have to be true to my heart, okay? I love Jason X. I don't care what anybody says. This next one was on a video from last week, which was still technically January. It's from Carnage Candy, Lizzie. I'll leave her channel linked in the description. If you don't know about her already, you should definitely check her out. And she wrote, well, I did enjoy it, but way to point out all the flaws. <laughs> If something rubs me the wrong way initially, I immediately become more like nitpicky about it. I'm sure other people can relate to that as well. Like, so I watched the first episode and I was not a fan. Like I immediately just like got rubbed the wrong way. But, and then I immediately just like laser eyes just started to pick out everything. And then this last one, I'm sure this is not gonna seem like a great comment to anybody except for me. Um, but this really like makes my day on it. Like it made my month, like if I'm gonna be completely fucking honest. It was on my review of Satan Slaves and the director of the movie wrote a cool channel. Thank you so, so much <laughs> for that. That just makes me so happy when like, you know, you know, filmmakers watch 
your movie review. <laughs> like, <laughs> they care what you think about it. And finally, in case you missed it, does this offend you episode 10? 10, I think it was. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, like we've almost been doing does this offend you for a year now. Um, I think you guys are used to it at this point. I mention it in every single monthly recap or favorites video because I just love it so much. And Emma teased it on her Twitter already today, but we did lock in our two movies for February's, uh, February's does this offend you? I don't know why that was so difficult for me to get out of my mouth. I'll just do my own teasing of it and just say it, it there is a, a very apropos February theme of relationships, but it's not in the way that you think. And it's definitely gonna get offensive. So strap in folks. Like <laughs> Also some of my favorite videos that I posted this month, I faced my arachnophobia sort of. I posted my unpopular horror opinions, which went over actually really well. I'm definitely going to do a follow-up video where I react to your guys' unpopular opinions because you guys left so many and I'm so thankful. So thank you for that. And I just want to say I am done with my paper for school. Yay! Um, <laughs> turned it in beginning of last week. I turned it in. So yes, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done and I'm already kind of thinking of turning it into like a series of video essays so let me know if you guys want that and then February <laughs> just stay tuned because I'm gonna be live streaming a lot actually with other people by myself towards the end of this month um I don't know why I said it like that um <laughs> women in horror month is a busy month you guys so I went from January being a busy month February is gonna be a busy month and then March something's gonna happen that you guys may or may not like um but we'll do we'll get we'll we'll get there um I don't know why I'm talking all vaguely like this let me just end the video it's long enough already I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you liked it or not subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today and you can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video even though it never works thank you so much for watching and until next time stay strange bye this video is brought to you by all of these awesome Patreon supporters who are listed here on the screen. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, if you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link that's in the description box. And if you want to check out more videos, you can click the video that's on the screen right now.